Hello, you boys. Hello, welcome to another video. And today I'm going to be showing you um, my OC for Jules Gaming. Now, this may be hard to recreate because everything's more hard to recreate um, in Gadget Club. If you struggle at first, I can wait until I've reached level 5 and then I can give you like a code or something. But uh, I probably will never reach level 5 because I just I don't know how to do it. I don't even know how to play the game, so uh, yeah. This is just how you create it, and um, I saw that you said that it had quite a few forms. I'm sorry, I'm calling it an X or he. They had quite a few forms. So I thought I'd give the character, um, I'll give you some designs for the forms, um, as well as the designs for the actual OC. And you can add forms and you can tweak things. If there's something you don't like about this OC, be, feel free to tweak it. I really tried to go for not ruining its aesthetic, but also not, you know, making it look the same. Because the problem with the original was it was really, really basic. It did nothing about it really stand it really made me really stood out. I guess you could count the Haunter long ponytail thing on a boy. But it just didn't look right. It also didn't have any if it had have any front hair. And it just was covered in these bright colours. So I thought adding some less bright colours would help out a bit. Um so I guess you can watch this for a bit, and then I'll get onto the form soon and tell you a bit about them. Here is the first form. Um, I call it the Sans form. Um, so the first, so what you saw there was the Sans form. It's literally just this, but without all the extra stuff. This one's the corrupted, corrupted Sans form. Like Sans just kind of has like that fiery thing on his eye. This is the Sans where he's got like determination thing he's got slits through his eyes and he's got like smoke around him i don't I, I don't really play undertale nor do i exactly obsess over it i don't hate it but i don't like it it's just a very confusing game for me um but i have nothing against you if you like it i'm only going to i'm only going to show the parts that i changed so yeah this is the what i call the eclipse form it's a, a, it's a form where you have eclipse powers, which, whatever those are, I don't really know. So far, I've got these two little orbs, but maybe you can summon an eclipse that the person can't see. Maybe you can blind people. Maybe you can harness some power from the moon to make, you know how, like, um, the sea moves in because of the moon, some sort of magnetic force. Or, you know, you can just do, like, darkness stuff. This is the ultimate corrupted form. He has horns, missing an eye which is taken over by this black thing. Has one arm which is a claw, which I don't know what that could be used for. Maybe it's some sort of Thanos glove or something. Some sort of eliminating magic powers where if he clicks his fingers, destruction happens. And he has a bunch of arms, which um, I'm not very sure what those are used for, but they're probably used for grabbing and can probably be extendable. I had a lot of fun making forms for these characters. I used to think forms just make characters more and more complicated, but I think it's pretty, pretty fun when you get to design the forms and you get to you know come up with powers and all this kind of stuff i should give my characters forms more often um uh yeah life if you don't like the oc please tell me and if you want to change it up a bit that's completely fine again this part I, I i asked for this person's permission to do this and he's very, very kind for letting me do this because it's a good exercise for me and it you get a good OC in the end. Not that your old OC was bad, but um, it just had a few things that I fixed with this OC. Bye!